Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing some of the things that I've purchased for our upcoming Disney World vacation. This is something that I do every single year before our trip. I have this big basket and I put it on the floor of our closet, kind of tucked away in the corner, and then all through the year I pick up items and little things and put them in the basket for my trip. It's this weird thing I've done ever since I was a little kid. Anytime we were going on vacation, I would like hoard things little things, big things, all kinds of things, just to make the trip more fun, and it just kind of builds anticipation. I don't really know why I do it. It's not necessary. It's kind of a weird thing, but I just love doing it, and so I thought I'd share with you what's in my little Disney trip bin. Some of it, like I said, is really not like thrilling and exciting, and some of it is a little bit more fun. So anyway, that's what I am doing today in my bin. Um, I did just film my favorites video for December and January, and I am I literally just stopped the camera and restarted it. So I'm in the same outfit. I don't think you guys mind, but just so you know, yep, it's the exact same day, same minute, same hour. All right, let's dive into things that I've picked up for this trip so far. We go to Disney basically every January. This will be the third year that we are going in January, and so I really like it because at the beginning of the year, I usually pick up a few of these kinds of things I'm about to show you like this. So I picked up two different camisoles. Um, like I said, this is not all going to be like Disney glitz and glam. Some of this is more practical stuff that I picked up thinking about this trip, but I'll totally use it obviously when I get home. So I picked up a black one and I picked up a white one. These were each $1.68 from Walmart. I love these. I particularly love these because they do not have a shelf bra in them, which I think those are so uncomfortable. I wear a normal bra under these, but I think they're really comfortable. They work really well. I love them. And for $1.68, you can't beat it. So that's awesome. So I got a black one and a white one. I also picked up from Walmart some socks. I love both of these kinds of socks. Um, this is something I do every single year is I buy a new pair of walking shoes in January every year because I wear them like all year round almost every day and they get really worn out by the end of the year. And I buy a new pack or two of socks before Disney. And so it's like I get fresh things for Disney, but then it's also a good yearly reset. So these are the Avia High Performance Socks. These are like a really thin fabric, so they're really comfortable for walking because they don't, um, they don't like rub your feet weird. I really like these. And the other ones that I like, these are a little bit more cushy, and these are the Zone Cushion. These are both, like I said, from Walmart. They're both about eight bucks for the pack. How many pairs of socks? This has six pairs, and this has six pairs. So I have 12 pairs total. I'll be more than set for our trip. So those are in my little basket. Here's something else. And actually, because I just filmed my favorites video, I have the other part of it here. So this is from Erin Condren. It is the Planner Folio. And this year in 2019, one of my goals was to purchase a one-year Bible, which I did, and then read through the entire Bible in one year. And um, we are going to be in Disney for seven days, and I want to continue that practice while I'm there each evening before bed, just like I have been at home. So I picked this up because I wanted something to protect this book because I didn't want it to get all mangled. It has to... I'm like kind of a weirdo about books. I like them to be like pristine. I know some people like when the pages get turned and bent and stuff. I love that. So anyway, I got this one. I thought it was really cute with the little petals and my name is on it. And I haven't even done this yet. But when you unzip it, oh cool, okay. So there's this little kind of board in the back and it has a little pencil holder and then there's like little, you know, you could put a notebook or something like that in there. But the idea is that you put, it's supposed to be for a planner, obviously, but I know it would fit this. You put this in there. Oh, that is perfect. And now it's like protected, it's easy to carry, and I purchased this knowing that we will go on many more trips this year where I will need to bring this book with me. And so I love that it's like safe, and it's cute, and it's not going to get mangled. And I can also throw my journal and a pen in there, which I hadn't even considered, but that will be really great too. I have a referral link below for Erin Condren that will give you a $10 gift certificate, so if you're interested in this or anything else from the site, you could use that if you would like to. But there's another thing I picked up for this trip and then for other trips throughout the year as well. 
Next up, these are really kind of funny and these are very Disney specific. These were picked up specifically for Disney and not for, um, like these other things are kind of like, well, I'll use them for Disney, but they'll also be nice throughout the year. They sent them to me kind of weird. It's from Amazon, it comes in this little thing and then in each, there's like a bunch of little bags of bags in here. So these are like, how do I describe this in the least weird terms? They're like toe guards, basically. And the idea is they're like little silicone things that you put around your toes so your toes don't get blistered and rub. Not sure how to say that in any less weird way. Um, so my pinky toes get blistered all the time because of the shape of my feet. Even if I get shoes that are wide or have like a wider toe box, it does not matter. My pinky toes are constantly, just the edge of them get rubbed and it, it hurts it, like for such a small little thing, it hurts really badly. So these are great because you can just put them over your toe, like if this is your pinky toe, put them on it and then when you're walking throughout the day. I don't know. So we'll see how these work. I also use moleskin a lot, um, but these were pretty inexpensive. I feel like they were six or seven dollars. I bought them a little while back and um, I wanted to give them a shot. So I'll have to let you know what I think about these, but those are definitely for the walking in Disney because last year one day we clocked it and we walked 18 miles in one day. Oh, I'm excited about these next these next things. So these are from eBags and they are their packing cubes. I am like a, a organizational fiend. I love organization. I love, I love organization. I'm, I'm like the type A label making type of person. Um, and I've never had packing cubes, which is surprising because everyone's always telling me that I need to get packing cubes because I love them because of my personality. And so I finally picked these up and they are the eBags brand. And I have a variety of different sizes. So like this is the small size. They have like this fine mesh top and then like a very lightweight um, back, which makes sense to me because obviously you don't want to be adding weight to your suitcase. I mean, these are like feather light. So I have a really small one. I have like a large sized one, another really small one. I'm guessing these are like for undergarments. This is kind of like a long and skinny one used for t-shirts or something like that. And then this is another kind of the large square ones. Um, these all came in a pack. They were a set, a pack, and I got the gray color. There are a variety of different colors from eBags as well. eBags, I also have a $10 gift certificate too um, that I can leave below as like a referral link. But I, we have eBags suitcases. I've done a whole video on our eBags suitcases. I can link it above if you're interested. We absolutely love them. We use them all the time and they have held up beautifully. So I was thrilled that the eBags brand made also um, packing cubes because I already trust and love the brand. So these are I got for the trip, but again, something that I'll use for many trips to come in the future, but I was excited about those. We have our magic bands in my little basket. And then from a company called Auburn B on Etsy, I got my little decal. I've done like a decal every single year and it's really, really cute. And then I have like, I think like a navy blue Mickey head with a rose gold bow to go on, um, to go on my pink magic band. I don't think Riley's doing a decal this year. He's done one in the past. I think last year he did a really neat um, Haunted Mansion one, but not this year. So those two things are in my box as well. Our magic bands and my magic band decal. These are fun. These are makeup remover, like facial cleansing cloths, but they're really like high-end nice ones that my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas this year. 100% um, biodegradable facial cleansing wipes with vitamin C and E, CoQ10, goat's milk. They're in a honeyed grapefruit scent and they gently remove makeup and cleanse your skin without stripping it. I thought those sounded fun. I always like when I get things like this to store them away and use them for a trip. I don't know why, I just think it's fun to do that. <laughs> like makes it even more special. So anyway, I'm excited to try those, um, which was, they were a stocking stuffer this year. Moving on to a couple of bags that I have purchased to try out in Disney. Because so many of my YouTube subscribers are have come to my channel because of Disney videos, I get a lot of questions about Disney-related content, which is fine because I love talking about Disney. One of the questions I get the absolute most is about bags that I take into the park. What kind of bags that I use? Do I like those bags? What bags do I recommend? Like all, all the time, all the time. And so on this trip, I picked up two new bags that I've never used used before or tried that I wanted to, that I felt like would be great solutions to um, 
walking through Disney and like they would be a really good option, but I don't know because I've never tried them. And so I'm going to try them and report back. That way I will have, hopefully, because the bag that I use is discontinued and it's super frustrating. I know to many of my subscribers who are like, oh my gosh, the bag that you use for Disney each year is so perfect. What is it? And I'm like, it's not available anymore. So I'm gonna try some other ones. So hopefully I have some to recommend because um, I wanna be able to do that for you guys. So the first one, this is, it looks really flat and unattractive right now because it just came in the mail. But this one I thought was really neat. This is by the brand Travelon and it's an anti-theft slim backpack. And um, the back is a little backpack. It has like little black with gold accents. <clears throat> straps and then the top part just flips up and there's a zipper at the top which I absolutely love let me open up the inside and the inside has on this side it has like you can basically unload your entire wallet into the purse there's like a zip on that side and there's a zip on this side and then it's pretty big plus there is a um, key holder and then this is cool this is a flashlight so you can turn it on and if you need to see what's in your bag this bag gets great reviews. One thing that I think is super cool that I would totally use is that when you are using it, you can actually latch the zipper closed. Um, this, this, you would latch the other zipper because this one obviously wouldn't make a difference, but you latch the zipper closed so that it's really hard for somebody to get into. The fabric is also like RFID protected or whatever and then also the um, the fabric is anti-slash so it's it's supposed to be pretty good for traveling on the front there's a good little pocket as well that would be good for like my vlogging camera so it'd be easy to grab and then again you can hook the um, the zipper onto the little the little holder I feel like I just did a horrible job explaining that it's a backpack that's supposed to be anti-theft. It's very lightweight. I really like the idea of using a backpack, but I don't want to use a big giant backpack, so I like that this is slim. I like that the interior has places to put your stuff. I will try it out and get back to you. It comes in a variety of different colors. Okay, moving on. The other bag that I picked up to try out on this trip is this Cavu rope sling bag. It goes across your body like this, so it's like, a sling bag, a crossbody, and um, it also does unhook down here at the bottom. So if you want to make sure, if you want, if you want to get it on a little bit easier. Anyway, it's pretty large on the inside when you unzip it. There's a nice big open space in there. You could totally put a sweatshirt or a cardigan or something like that. Um, there's like a little pouchy pouch out here, and then another little zip pouch. Um, and so I just felt like this was another good, good option for Disney. I will totally try it out. It comes in like dozens of fabric patterns and colors. So I will totally try this one out and let you know um, these two. I'll also bring the purse that I've used um, for years. It's a, it's by the brand Bagalini and it's a crossbody nylon gray bag that I love for travel because it's super lightweight but it's very spacious. It's not heavy on my on my shoulders. So anyway, I'll let you know um, which of these bags works well, which ones I like the best, all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to try a couple of new options, mostly for you guys, so that I could tell you um, if they were worked really well and were good for me, since that is a question I get all the time. And the one that I typically recommend has been discontinued, which is frustrating. Moving on, I always like to have a little travel wallet. Um, because my normal wallet is pretty large. It's twice the size of this and my normal wallet's heavy and it has like my checkbook in it and whatever else. And so I like for, for when I'm traveling to have something that's just lighter and smaller and just has like the bare necessities, bare essentials in it. So this little Kate Spade wallet, I absolutely adore. I think it's so pretty. Here's what it looks like. It's like this grayish kind of purpley color. And I bought this on Black Friday. I got it for... I mean, it was so inexpensive for Kate Spade on Black Friday. I feel like it was like 70% off or something. And I picked it up and I put it in my Disney bin and I will totally use this throughout my trip. Of course, we will have our magic bands on and so we can use that. But I um, sometimes, like when we're going to Disney Springs and things and then in the airport and stuff like that, obviously you need to have your wallet with you. Otherwise, it can stay in the safe at your hotel. So picked that up. I thought that was really gorgeous. I will use that for years to come. Um, but I bought it for this trip. All right, let's see, what else? This is kind of silly. My husband gave me a little EOS lip balm in my stocking this year, and it is this delicious mango tropical scent, and I threw it in 
my Disney bag and I figured I'll bring it to Disney, I'll use it in Disney, and then when I come home, it will remind me of Disney. I'm not, I know that I'm not the only weirdo who does this, but as I'm doing this, it feels really weird, but I know that there are other people who like hoard things away specifically for trips. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> I picked up, Ulta was having a big sale, so I picked up a bunch of toiletries because why not? And they're all travel size, and I thought it would be fun to have some different little toiletries to try out on my trip because it's fun to do that. So I got this Healthy Sexy Hair Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I got additionally the Leave-In Conditioner that goes with it. Um, I already used this Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play as my hairspray, so I got a little one so I didn't have to take that big giant one with me on our trip. I've always wanted to try this. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off um, Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm, something like that. I've heard so much about this. I've always wanted to try it, and it was on sale in this little mini size, so I picked that up. This is a facial cleanser. It's called. It's by the brand Philosophy philosophy and it's called purity. I used to use this a couple of years ago. Um, well, gosh, it's been more than a couple. It was like in 2013. When I first moved to Texas, I remember using this a lot. So I decided to pick that up because it's good times. And then this is the Renewed Hope in a Jar, which is a moisturizer that I really like a lot. It works really, really well. And so those are, those are my little new toiletries for Disney because why not? And we have another trip coming up in May that I will I can take the rest of those all on and use. Next up I have two pullovers from A Row & Co on Etsy. I talked about these in my most recent posted weekly vlog, which I think was back in November. It's been a minute since I've done a weekly vlog, but they are so, so, so cute. Um, this one is like the gray and you get to pick the ribbon color, the hair um, bow color and the thread color. So I wanted like a blue and gray and purpley kind of one. And then I also have this one which is white with like navy blue and kind of more bright neon-y colors. Super, super cute with my monogram on both of them. I will link the Etsy shop below. Um, the Etsy shop owner is so sweet and so wonderful. You will love her. Tell her I sent you. She's super nice. Um, this is, this was a gift from Riley for Christmas that I love. And it is a um, tech organizer for travel. So it has all these little bands so you can put like your cords, your chargers. I have, so, now when I travel, it used to be so simple. And now that I am on YouTube, it is like not simple. It's like cameras and memory cards and extra backup batteries and all the chargers for the different batteries. And it's like a million different things. That and then like now I have this watch that I have to have that little thing with, all that. So all that's gonna go in here. I think this is super cute. It's from Amazon, I know. Um, I will link it if I can find it. And I know that on here it has like little charging stuff so that you know. But I think that's another little pouch to add to my Disney, I almost said Disney packing collection, just my packing collection. Although secretly it's all about Disney. Let's see, I think that's just about everything. Um, all right, the last few things we have in here are, I have our Magical Express luggage tags in here, which you put on your um, bags before you leave home. And when you get to Orlando, you're able to just go straight to your resort and Disney cast members go and find your bags because you have these tags on them and they put them into your hotel room. It's wonderful. I also have several Disney gift cards from friends and family who gave those to us for our birthdays last month or for Christmas because they knew we were heading to Disney soon and they wanted to give us some extra money to do some fun things, so we're really excited about that. And the very last thing, this is kind of silly, but I just wanted to show it because it is in my little bag, um, is this Baby Gannix alcohol-free hand sanitizing wipes. I was making an order on Grove Collaborative the other day and I saw these and I thought those would be perfect for Disney to use because obviously you are amidst many, many people, you are on and off rides and attractions and touching handrails and everything. And so before you eat, I was like, that would be a great thing to use before eating especially on the go. Um, like if we're going to a restaurant, a lot of times we'll go use the restroom first and really wash up our hands. But if you're like just grabbing a snack, 
or whatever, I feel like those would be great. So that is everything that I have purchased so far for our D upcoming Disney World vacation. I am so excited for this trip, y'all. I can't even tell you. I shared more information about it on my Instagram page. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm going to post a lot of Disney stuff on there. So I highly recommend you go follow me. My handle is at Blair Blogs all one word, B-L-A-I-R-B-L-O-G-S. And um, that is where you can find me on Instagram. So I definitely recommend that you go ahead and follow along on there. But I shared more details about our trip, but we are going on a trip that we're just so excited about. It's like the trip of our dreams. So you can head, head over to Instagram to learn more about kind of what that what that's gonna be. But I'm excited to share videos from our trip and hopefully maybe like a packing video or something. I don't know, what are you guys interested in um, me filming? I know some of you are just gonna say everything, all of it, everything, but like, it would be really helpful if you told me specifics. <laughs> so what specifically, if there's anything Disney related, would you like me to film? I probably won't film all of those ideas, but I would love to take some of them into consideration for, for sure, because I know how much I love watching Disney content on YouTube. It just makes me really happy. So that's everything that's in my little pre-Disney trip basket. This basket's from Target, by the way, if you're interested in that. I hope that you have enjoyed this, and um, I'm really excited because it means we are just a couple of weeks out from leaving on our trip, and I can't wait. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it, and leave me a comment below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.